Stephen. 10 people were injured yesterday and four were taken to the hospital. Everyone is expected to be OK, and that's what's important. While the world's longest yard sale is happening right down the road from where I'm standing, I want to show you some of the damage we're seeing here on Fairview Road. Much of it, as you can see, is uprooted trees and down power lines. Now, everyone I spoke with today is grateful that it wasn't much worse. The sound of chainsaws rang out all day long. Volunteers came out and neighbors were helping neighbors. It all worked together. You help people, they come and help you. It's all about helping people. It makes me feel better knowing that I got a community that'll watch my back and help me. And I'll go out and do the same for them. Thursday afternoon, Matthew Pritchett was driving home from work through the storm. I was hoping that my, me and my family would have a place to come home to. When he came home, he was greeted by roof damage and uprooted trees, one falling on the garage, but feeling a sense of relief his house can be lived in. Um, I think my heart would have sunk. I don't know what I've been able to do. Yeah, this is the only place I have for my family to go. You can see next door his neighbor, J.D. Hudson, had a tree fall on his home. At first he thought, My house is gone, but it wasn't. God took care of it. A mile down the road, Pamela Byers and her family were outside during the storm for the world's longest yard sale. This tree snapped in their yard and their tent was destroyed. But Friday morning, she put on her hat that says blessed and they decided to set back up. At first, we was just going to pack everything up and I looked out and I saw the kids. Uh, and the people walking and I thought these people are from near and far. You know, this is what they come out here yearly to do. Offering what they can to those in need. If anybody needs anything, it's free because that's what a community is supposed to do is come together and help one another. The Red Cross has been out here assisting. We've also seen utility vehicles in the area all day working to get the lights back on for those who lost power. The city of Gadsden also opened up some shelters today to let people cool off and recharge their devices. Live in Gadsden, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News.